Good morning, Dhamma brothers and Dhamma sisters. Today is 28th October 2013. The Dhamma course on Nibbana we start. Nine o'clock. As you are shared the copies, hand out copies. Nibbana Kata. This is a take out from Tripitaka. The first one is Udana Pali belong to Kodaka Nikaya. You can find out this in Tripitaka books. Udana. Udana means expression of emotion. The Buddha talked to himself not to others. Udana means speak to himself. Expression of emotion. Very happy um, contemplating Nirvana. So the Buddha explained Nirvana in Udana Bali. So they are mentioned Patama Nibana Pati Sanyota Sota Sota. Patama means the first. Nibana Pati Sanyota means concerning Nibana. About Nibana. Sota discourse. Discourse on about Nibana or concerning Nibbana. So according to this sutta, I will explain about Nibbana. Before explaining, before teaching, this is sutta. We should have a best knowledge When the Buddha explained in Nibbana, Nibbana means not experience by ordinary people. We experience only conditioned things. What we see, what we hear, what we smell, what we taste, what we touch. What do we think about? We experience some of these things. These are all conditioned things. Conditioned things is produced by it is a cause and conditions. Nirvana is not such a thing. We never experience about Nirvana. Therefore the Buddha will keep negative points to understand Nibbana. No positive point, negative point. Many people to understand Nibbana, what we experience, the negative forms of what we experience, to understand. We understand only our uh, experience. What we not experience, we don't understand. Nibbana is beyond our experience. Therefore, the Buddha explained in Nibbana in negative point. We are composed of mind and matter. In Nibbana, there is no mind matter. 
we experience a mind in matter. In nirvana state, there is neither mind nor mind, no matter. My matters we can be experienced. Absence of mind and matter, we are not experienced. Therefore, to understand nirvana is very difficult. The Buddha said, it is hard to see, hard to realize. You know, when the Buddha, after attainment of enlightenment, he stayed 49 days around Buddha Gayas, the, around the body trees, body trees. After 49 days, the Buddha think about Dhamma, which he discovered. The Buddha considered the Dhamma I discovered is very subtle, subtle, hard to see, very deep, very profound. Why is alone can be experienced? Why is alone can be realized? Especially these two Dhammas are very difficult to understand. The Buddha said, What are the two? Bhutijas Mopada. Dependent originations. Dependent origination. The Bhutijas Mopada is very hard to, hard to see, hard to realize, very, very difficult to understand for those people who are influenced by craving, hatred, delusion, by mineral defilements. They, the Padichas Vopara cannot be understood. Even I explain it, they cannot get the meaning. The Buddha think about it. That second dharma is a nirvana. The Buddha think about the nirvana. Oh, this is such a nirvana. It's very, very difficult to understand. Profound, hard to see. Why alone can be understood? Very subtle. To realize it. If I explain Dhamma, the ordinary people cannot get the meaning. Tiredness alone of me will happen. They cannot get the meaning. Thinking about this, The Buddha hesitated to explain the Dhamma. Then Brahma, Smas, Hambadis came down in a request to preach Dhamma. Buddha also, very short moment, because of thinking about the Dhamma profound, thinking about the people who listen to Dhamma. Between them, there is a gap is very big. The knowledge of the people is very low. The Dhamma is very high. Therefore, the Buddha, just think about it. When Brahma requests, then the Buddha considered the situation so the listeners, beings, somehow, some have sharp knowledge, sharp knowledge, quick understand. Even they have mental defilement, but slightly they have mental defilement. Not a thick, 
They are lower dosa moha. They are craving. They are hatred. They are delusion. It's not so thick. Some are slightly they have in the knowledge. By explaining Dharma, they can quickly understand. Can quickly understand. The Buddha realized by himself. After that, the Buddha decided to explain the Dhamma. Who will be the first listener of my Dhamma? Dhamma is so profound. Not all people will understand. Very long time ago, stay together with him, followed his practice. There are five monks, Panchavagya. Kuntanya, Vapa, Bhatiya, Mahanama, Asati. They were staying together before when the Bodhisattva Pratish Dhamma in Uruvela forest. After that, When the Buddha changes technique, they disappointed and leave the Buddha, left the Buddha and they went to Isiputana sanctuary, Mikataya sanctuary. Most of the translators use Diya Park. Not only Diya is there, this is sanctuary. Sanctuaries. All animals are not to be killed. The king ordered. Therefore, Isipadana is sanctuaries. They stay there when the, the Buddha which to explain his Dhamma, he discovered firstly to Panjavagya monk. The Buddha decided to travel to Isipadana. By walking on the road, so as you know, The full moon day of Asala, the full moon day of Asala, the Buddha arrived at Isipatana, met Pajavakya. In the evening started to talk his first Sama to Pajavakya. I say you may be only Panchavagya monks, five group monks. No. Listen to the Dhamma. But there are many deities, Brahmas, participant, participate to listen to Dhamma. The Buddha talk his first summon, Dhamma Chakka Bodhana. Dhamma Chakka. What is a Dhamma Chakka? Most translators use Dhamma Chakka. We all Dhamma. Actually, Dhamma Chakka, this word, refer to the Buddha's knowledge. This is called desana jnana. Desana jnana means how to explain the Dhamma. The knowledge how to explain Dhamma. Therefore, in commentaries I explain it, there are two types of Dhamma chakra. 
two types of dhammachaka. One said, this word conveyed the meaning of Patiwita Yana, penetrating knowledge. The Buddha penetrated Dhamma, realized Dhamma and a body tree, especially for noble truth. The Buddha realized what it should be realized, the things what it should be realized. This knowledge, referring to this knowledge, this term is used, Dhammachaka. Then another is Desana Jnana. Desana Jnana means knowledge, how to explain Dhamma. Teaching knowledge, teachers knowledge. How to teach Dhamma. This knowledge is called Desana Jnana. Dhammachaka referring to this Desana Jnana. Therefore, Patiweda Jnana is Dhammachaka. Dhammachaka is Patiweda Jnana. Dhammachaka is Desana Jnana. These two knowledges are described by the word Dhammachaka. Certain motions uh, start to walk. The Buddha start to realize the truth. The Buddha start to teach them these two. These two knowledge, Pavotana, Dhammachaka Pavotana. So the Buddha start to use these two knowledges. Penetrating and teaching knowledge. In this Sutta, the Buddha clarifying the two practices. Most people are searching for happiness, sukha. Now, it is also people are searching for happiness. Everybody is searching for happiness. May say some people, I'm searching for work. Not happiness, I'm searching for work. For what? For money. Money for what? For happiness. So, all people are searching for happiness. Own happiness, most. Own happiness. People think, some people so who stay with his family, I love my family, I love my daughter, my son. But actually, he or she does not love his family, does not love his son and daughter. Actually, seeing, meeting with the family of son and daughter, he got happiness. He loved actually his happiness. When son and daughter despise his happiness, he not accept, get up. He announced not to accept his heritage. Therefore, in real state, people also love only happiness, such for happiness. The Buddha pointed out that this. Most people are trying to search for happiness by means of indulgence. Kame su kama su kanlika niyoko. They are searching for happiness. regarding to sense of pleasure. They try to they try to see their happiness and sense of pleasure. 
That is not a really happiness. It's a cause to unhappiness. Mostly cause to unhappiness. Not a truly happiness. Not really happiness. Really happiness cannot be found in sense of pleasure. Therefore, the Buddha encouraged Panchavagyama Don't follow such a ways. Don't try and do such and for happiness and sense of pleasure. That is not a really happiness. He know. Ignobe. Anario ignobe. Anatta sahito. Not good beneficiaries. Some people are searching for happiness, torturing their bodies, torturing their bodies. They think when we torture our bodies without a food, without abandoning all luxurious place, luxuries, torture their bodies. They find out, they try to find out happiness. But in this way also cannot be found happiness. Therefore, don't follow this way also. Atta Kilimata, New York. This also not got away. The Buddha point out, only this middle way This way is not a such and for happiness concerning sense of pleasure, not a such and for torture his body. Between them, some happiness, what it should be experience, must be experience. If we try hard, by without caring, without the care in the body, without the care in luxury, must try. That is middle way. Through this middle way can be can be attained the knowledge. Through this knowledge we can find we can find the true happiness, truth happiness, real happiness, ultimate happiness, by means of metro way. The Buddha explained in Dhammachaka Bodhana Sutta to Panjavakya monks how to search him for happiness. Chaku karani, jnana karani. It is produce I, make I. Make knowledge. It's a cause to peaceful state, cause to realization. Only such a knowledge. Only through such a knowledge we can find the real happiness. So, and real happiness cannot be found in conditioned things. Beyond conditioned things, real happiness possible. Nevana Parma Sukha. Nirvana. It is a nirvana that is supreme happiness. Supreme happiness. But don't think we experience happiness, seeing beautiful things, hearing sweet sound, good getting sweet smell, 
having good taste, touching the luxury, thinking about the beautiful things, we experience such not such a happiness. Not a such happiness. Cannot be experienced as an ordinary way. Nirvana is another state which is supreme happiness. That's not a concern. Material things. That's not a concern or condition things. So I want to explain it in this way. Okay, what the Buddha talk about in Udana Bali as an expression of emotion, expression of happiness, happy words, Udana. Ewa me sutta. This is a, this is sutta is a truth. The Buddha is authentic was because of venerable ananda. Clarifying this, introduce this was Ewa. That's me sutta. So by me, it is hard by me. It is a land by me, that's what to say. So thus I have a heart. Thus I have a heart means I heard on the way not like that. I land. Thus I have a land. Venerable Ananda land these waters from the Buddha. Not just here. Not just here. But on those days Listening Dhamma, they learn. Therefore, the word is used as Sutta, Sutta. Sutta means hearing. Listen. On those days, not a learn from the books, learn from talking. This is oral tradition on those days. Therefore, now it is, we can say, that's I read in my books. <laughs> Not I read this one. Therefore, thus I have a land. Thus I have a heart, thus I have a land. I learned from the Buddha. When I another, explain the when confines the Buddha's teaching and first see not Buddha's counsel. No, Buddhas come. Buddhas say no. After a little more three months, after three months, Buddha spring Nirvana. They confine these teachings are Buddha's teachings. Even me Sutta, Ekan Samaya. Not a fifth date, except date not mentioned, only one on one occasion. Because on those days, date is not important, Dhamma is more important. Now it is a date important. Emphasis is different, you see. People also have only date, not accent. Only date is a leap. <laughs> Accent is no more. Because of, you see, history is a date important. <laughs> Only date they have, not accents. On those days, date is not important. Only accents or teachings are important. It can be on one occasion. Bakawa, now even a day, the respectful teachers, distinguished teachers are called Bhagawa in Indian terms. This one. No? Respectfully, they call Bhagawa. Even today, this was, they used Bhagawan, Bhagawan, 
great teacher, Guruji. Great teacher, Guru. Bhagwan is a great teacher, Guru. Sharima Bhagwan. Now it is people. Many books are wrote. right. Indian Guru. Yeah, therefore, commentary says, explain it. Bhagavati Guru. Bhagavan means Guru. Use Guru sometimes. Huh? Actually, Guru, Guru, the same. Bhagavati Guru. Bhagavan means great teacher. Now it is a translated, the blessed one. The blessed one. Most translated as you use Bhagavad, the blessed one. According to commentary, this is a great teacher. Great teacher or guru. In the end times, a guru. Sauti and Viharati. Lives in Savati, stay and dwells in Savati. Here I use present tense because of Venerable Ananda. In this mind, the Buddha has always remained. He never forgot the Buddha. Therefore, the Buddha in his mind is present. Therefore, he used simple present. We are ready. The Buddha dwells, the great teacher dwells, Chittavana, the forest of Chitta. Chitta is the name of the prince. The forest owned by Chitta, prince. Anatta, Bindikasa, Arame, this Anatta Benika is Nata Benika bought this forest from this garden from Chita. Therefore this Arama is now owned by Anatta Benika, the very rich merchant, very rich merchant in Savati. So referring to this, the Buddha dwells, the Arama of Anadabhinika in Chedavana Niya Savati. These are proper names. Chedavana is a proper name, Savati also proper name. Dina Kopana Samayana, on that occasion, Bhagava Bhikkhu, Nibana Bhati Sayutaya Dhamiya Gataya Santa Sayati. On that occasion, the great teacher talk about the Nibana. Talking about the Nibana to the book, to the monks. So the Buddha explained the Nibana subject to the monks. Nibana Bhati Sayutaya Tamiya Kataya. Tami Kata means Tama talk. Talk on Tama. Dealing with the Tama. Speech dealing with the Tama. What to say? In short point, we can say the Buddha talk about a Nirvana. Talk about a Nirvana to the monks. This Nivana Bhati Sayodaya Dhamiya Kataya Santa Siddhi. Santa Siddhi means explain Nivana. Explain. The Kritija explain Nivana. What is Nivana? He explained. Samadha Bhati means to accept. Nivana is exist. The street of Nirvana is easy to accept. Explain it to accept. When the Buddha explained Nirvana, the listeners accept 
or such a stress is real, a debate realities, they accept samadha bedi. Samodejeti, the Buddha encouraged to day neighbor, the Buddha encouraged a monk to realize nirvana. Sampahan Seti, the Buddha make monks enjoyed with this, this subject. They honestly listen to the Dhamma because I want to know. When we learn some subject, the candidates, the candidates are asked to, to know them. Attentively, they listen like that. So, Samadha Bedi, Samodhi Jeti, Sambahan Saiti. They enjoy it with the subject, not worry subject. Not lazy to listen. Happy to listen. Sometimes Those monks there. Those monks there. Dhamma Sunanti. Atin Gadawa, Manasi Gadawa, Sabam Seda So Samana Haridawa, Ohida Soda, Dhamma Sunanti. How to listen to Dhamma? Explain about that, these words. They are those monks listen to Dhamma. Atinkanwa. With the will. They want, want to know, want to realize Atinkanwa. With the will or willingly. With the great desire. Want to know? Manasi Kadawa, attentively. Sapan Sita Sosmana Redwa, bring it into the mind, all subject, all words. Bring it into the mind, all words. Pay great attention, want to see this one. Why in the Buddha talk? about Nibbana, they listen carefully what by what, what by what. Not miss, they not let miss even any words. Sapa, all words, bringing all words into the mind. They keep it in the mind. That is the meaning. All he does, so does. Listen carefully. Why does not? They always, they always lend the ear to the Buddhas. Carefully listen. Tamansunanti. This is explained when the Buddha talk about Nirvana. The monks attentively listen to that, these words. But we don't know, uh, only Nibbana subject, how do the Buddha explain it, we don't know about that. Uh, not mentioned here. The Buddha explains a Nibbana subject, about Nibbana, monks attentively listen to it, only that. Then, Atako Bhagawa Itamatan Vidwa. At that time the great teacher realizing such a matter, such a situation, Dayam Vilaya at that time Ima Udana Udanesi. This is the Buddha said as the accents explain in Nibbana, this one. Udana. Udana means uh, 
He speak and saw not to talk to the monks. This expression of emotion like that. Happiness. The Buddha uttered these words by his happiness. Such a nirvana, such a state exists, the Buddha want to clarify it. So, ima udana, udana, adarance, <coughs> udana is adad, such a uh, expression of emotion. Okay, this uh, oh, about the nirvana we explain at the Buddha's, not a talk in Dhamma. After talk in Dhamma, I think it is an excess of Nirvana, the Buddha. Just keep it the monks, chicks. But even the Buddha used the expression of emotion. But the Buddha referring to the monks, therefore, ati bhikkhavi, what? The word is used, ati bhikkhavi. Explain to the monk, okay? This is about a nirvana. These lines will be explained. Yeah, ati bhikkhavi, tada yatana, yata niwa bhattavi na apo na dejo na vayo. First, I explain this one. Okay, we should translate this one. Ati bhikkhavi, bhikkhavi is a monks. Ati means they are exist such a state, tadayadana, tanayadana, such a base. They are exist such a base. Such a state really exist, the Buddha said. Such a state is really exist. Yata, where? Wherein? Where? Niwaptavi. There is neither earth element. There is neither earth nor water. Na abo. Na dejo. No fire, no nawayo, no air. As you know, these are great elements, four great elements. This is the material qualities. The Buddha want to say, in Nirvana state, there is no earth, like not our our war. Our life, there's earth, there's water, there's fire, there's air. But in Nirvana state, not such an element. With the negative explain. Negative explain. That is the meaning. Here, four great elements. Without the four great elements, no any other material quality can exist. The Buddha wants to say there is no material quality. In Nirvana there is no material quality because of we experience only material qualities. No? Every day we experience four material qualities. Material qualities. We have, we have the other element. Other element is in our body. There is a solid. Solid, there's water, there's fire, heat, heat and go, there's wind, air. So we experience our surroundings also are the water, fire, air. We experience all material worlds. Without these four cannot exist. Let us explain. So when do the Buddha explain, in Nirvana stage, there is no 
matter, material qualities. By saying there is no great, full great element. Now it is five great elements, say Ida also. And science Ida. Here, even science, these four great elements are accepted. Are the element, water element, fire element, the air element. Without these four, not any other material quality can remain. Therefore, the Buddha wants to explain in Nirvana state there is not matter at all, not material quality at all. Nirvana state is a not constructed with these material qualities. Our all is constructed with material qualities. Nirvana is not a long state. As a first, the Buddha has one to explain. Yeah. Then, Na agasa nanja yedana, na winya nanja yedana, na aginjanya yedana. Na niwasanya, na sanya yadana. If you land a bit more, you can find these terms. These terms are, these, these minds are very subtle mind. Jhana stage, full Arupa jhana stage. Without a concerning matter, without a matter, concerning uh, without a concern matter, these minds are arubhajana, full arubhajana. So very subtle mind, these minds are. That's not a concern with any material qualities. According to these words, the word I want to say, there is not my at all. In Nirvana, there is no mind at all. Even subtle mind, there is. In Nirvana, there is no mind. Not mental state, want to see. So, want to see the Buddha. In Nirvana state, there is not material quality, not any mental state. So our life is just many matter. In Nirvana state is absence of many matter. There is no material quality, no mind. Here subtle minds are mentioned here. So Akasananja Yatana. These words are a little loud used to these words. Akasa means space. Agasa means space. Ananja means infinite, infinite space. Infinite space. Ayadana means base. So the mind base on infinite space. So such a mind is very subtle. We have a not such a mind because of it is true tamadi practice, smadi practice. Very high hasana stage, high hasana stage. So, according to translation, we can say, my base on infinite space. This mind appeared on infinite space object, want to say. These are need to explain according to Abhidhamma. This is a jhana, jhana stages, huh? truth, smetha, practice. Such a mind is very subtle. Even subtle mind explain. We are not experienced about it, that's mind. Another one, this one is 
means consciousness. Anancha means infinite. Ayadana means base. My base on my base on infinite consciousness. This may appear with the object of infinite consciousness. Such is states, very subtle. That is the meaning. So Arbhajana so will be explained accordingly. Accordingly. Akin na akin chanya yetana. Akin chanya. Akin chanya means na akin chi. Nothingness. Nothingness of consciousness. First chana consciousness. There is the meaning. My based on nothingness of first consciousness. So nothingness means, you see, even even the the falling state, rising falling, even falling states cannot remain. Nothingness you see, cannot remain anything. Like that in the border of Bia, when Bia is emptied, smells remain. Here nothingness means not remain at all. No, even smell not remain or are empty. Want to say like that. Akin Chanya. So conscious mind based on nothingness of first consciousness. That is the meaning. Then, na neva sanya na sanya yadana. My peace on my peace on an object which is straight is neither perception nor non perception. This jhana is the most subtle because of in this jhana is not min- any mental state, but a very little mental state. Cannot be known. Cannot be known. Even cannot be known very, very difficult. But small, the very subtle consciousness remained. Therefore, this word is used. Neva sanya, naida perception, na sanya, non non perception. That is the meaning. Very subtle remained. Very subtle remained. Cannot be fine, cannot be found, when to say. Cannot be found. Like people, people also want to say, and the, the bottle of water. In the bottle of water, people say, hey, there is no water. If there is no water, I want to put white. Oh, there is water. Because of one draw, two draw, they cannot count as a water. People say like that, there is no water, they say. But, but at that day, small amount remained. Like that here also. What do you say? No perception. No perception, but very subtle. No no perception. Perception means sanya. Sanya means referring to all material, mental state, all mental state. So these foes are Arvajana stage. So not the Arvajana stage, the word I want to say. Because on those days, the the other religious believers, the other sect, the other schools point out Arbhajana as a moksha, as a nirvana. They point out, for example, 
Jainism point out as a moksha the Asanya Sata Brahma Wo Asanya Sata Brahma Wo they point out as a Nibbana. The other religious teachers see this Arba Jana, Arba Brahma Wo is Moksha according to them. Moksha means free Nibbana, freedom. Their freedom is now it is you see the people say heaven, heaven is forever. They are God remains. Most people believe like that. Like Allah, Janna. Then every so heaven is they think about it, this moksha. Moksha forever. So the Buddha rejected this. Such a state is also not nirvana. In nirvana states, not material quality, no mental state. One to see. Okay. Today morning, let us stop. <coughs>